Welcome to the 1995 United States National Aerobic Championship Finals, beginning with the Mixed Fairs events. These are the standings leading into the finals. In fifth place were Scott Brown and Patricia Trent, a well-matched duo from San Francisco, competing together for the first time this year. Fourth position was Washington, D.C.'s Debbie Weaver and Doug Ewell. First-time competitors with a bright future in the sport. Their fun, challenging and skill-packed routine was marred by weak transitions and a lack of overall aerobic content. To the final three leading into the mixed pairs finale, with New Jersey, Tampa and Long Island all represented. Well, a packed house and an excited crowd here in the University of Houston. And the first of the finalists, Anthony DeMeo and Linda Cogbelli. This duo comes into the national finals as the top-seeded mixed pair. He, a croupier in Atlantic City Casino, and she has put her personal life on hold to train and compete over the last three years as a full-time aerobic competitor. Competitors are judged in both skill and presentation categories. In each routine, you will recognize four compulsory exercises that are utilized to assess strength, flexibility, and coordination. Push-ups, jumping jacks, high leg kicks, and abdominal curls. Not easy going first in the final. The crowd certainly seemed to enjoy it. Anthony Dumeo and Linda Colobelli. And those strength, flexibility and coordination compulsories really performed well. Highest possible score of 210. 90 for skill, 69 for presentation, which gives them a total of 159 points as the first of the three finalists. Well, Grant and Sandy Brazier are next to take to the stage, the only married couple in the national finals. For four years now, they have trained together. Last year, they were the silver medalist in these championships. They worked hard to try and take that one big step up. They do all their own choreography, coaching. The toughest part is probably to balancing the world as personal champions. life with training. Training uh, has been about 99% and personal has been about 1%, but it's been great. See how all that dedication pays off now.
Well, one or two early mistakes on the balance skills at the beginning of the routine, but a good strong finish for Grant and Sandy Brazier. the score to beat Mayo and Colabelli lead 96.5 for skill 71 is good for presentation and the total score is 167.5 a new leader with just one couple left to perform and the silver medalists of a year ago are on target for gold could be denied by Deborah Markel and Clay Grant from Long Island New York Well, the story goes that Clay Grant was dared to get into competitive aerobics eight years ago, and he took up the challenge. Where is the... It's a tough two minutes in this sport, and the pressure is upon this couple. Much higher tempo, quicker routine than the leaders, Grant and Sandy Brazier. Let's see if they've done enough. There's the target. Painstaking weight, low on skill, presentation's not good enough. One, five, three, and that gives them third position. Deborah Markel and Clay Grant, the champions of America for 1995 in the mixed pairs division. The silver a year ago, and it's gold this year. Here's the Braziers with Anthony DeMeo and Linda Colobelli taking the silver. And Deborah Markel and Clay Grant claim the bronze. Their confirmation of the medals as we'll take a quick commercial break and we're back with more aerobics and the Masters division coming up in just a short while. Well, this 10th anniversary also marks a first, the National Aerobic Championships Masters competition for athletes 35 and over. This crowd-pleasing category proved that it's never too late to discover the thrill of competition, no matter what your age. In the women's category, well, the bronze medal went for first-time competitor Karen Leinhardt of Springfield, New Jersey. The silver went to Karen Howe from Cheapstake. And here is Karen Howe. Married for 17 years with two teenage daughters. She is a local club instructor. And the winner, well, Joan Noseworthy from Dumont in New Jersey. Married with a six-year-old son. She's competed for nine years just for the thrill of competition. It's the first time she's ever won a national gold medal. 
in men's competition, Tom Pop is the oldest of nine children and the brother of the 1992 national aerobic champion, Nancy Pop. Well, he was hoping to follow in his sister's footsteps but ended up claiming the bronze. Silver medal went to John Malasniewski. Just began competing 14 months ago. A real inspiration for any you are thinking of taking up the sport, but Jim Winkleman was the top performer in the Masters category. Degree in Sports Physiology and Business Administration. Really did have a tremendous competition and congratulations to all of the competitors in the plus 35 category. Well, on to the women's individual event. The standings are for the semi-finals. And let's see who advanced to the finals. Well, fifth position for Kim Terry, last year's silver medalist. A disappointing fifth position for her after an injury suffered in the final seconds of her routine, affecting her high leg kick compulsories in her quest for gold this year. Clearly in distress towards the end of the routine there. And that was sad for one of the big favourites in the women's individual final, Kim Terry. Her dreams of gold shattered with injury. Fourth position was to go to Eileen Sharon from Santa Ana in California. Despite exciting dynamic transitions and her very creative choreography, Eileen did not hit her routine with the usual consistency. Set in the women's semi-finals.
Well, two clear mistakes and clear mistakes in the compulsions, which leaves three left to battle it out for the final. Patricia Marquez Janinski, Elaine Alfano, and Toby Gifford. And the first of those is Patricia Yazinski. I was practicing, I threw my routine full out the first time, and I looked down <laughs> at the floor when I landed, and my nose broke my fall. <laughs> well, that is the story of Patricia Marquez at Yazinski, representing the Southwest region, and is from Phoenix, Arizona. Ranked ninth from the qualifiers and fifth of the semifinals. Well, practicing her routine, she had that tumble on the racquetball court and performs her routine in the final with that broken nose. Again, good transitions, sighting choreography. Let's see how the judges make that one. Ninety-one point five. The skill marks onto presentation. That's a good presentation score with a total of one hundred and sixty-one point five. Toby Gifford, a newcomer to the sport and first-time national finalist. New York's Toby has two teenage daughters back home in Ion, Queensbury. It's really exciting to be here. It's kind of a dream come true. That was my uh, dream to make it to National Sunday. And uh, it happened kind of quickly and unexpected, and it uh, feels great. 1-6, one 1.5 one is the target score for Toby. Again, another very upbeat, high-tempo choice of music.
Well, a good variety of explosive elements there for Toby Gifford. quite the overall quality of the performance perhaps that we saw from Jasinski she'll need to bet a 1-6-1 to take the lead away eighty-nine in skill but down in presentation sixty-six point five and that's the difference in the score of 155.5 to 161, which is still the best. So, second position so far, silver medal for Toby Gifford. With Patricia Yazinski still leading. Elaine Alfano, five times a National American Gymnast Champion. The University of Utah. Eagerly awaiting the grand opening of her new fitness We're academy in Jackson. Any day now. Um it's in South Brunswick, and it's called Bounce Back. I've had some obstacles in my life the past couple of years, so I thought that name was kind of appropriate. And um, it's going to be wonderful. We're having gymnastics from preschool all the way up to age 18, and we're having fitness, kids' fitness, and it's going to be wonderful. I'll be able to train there without any kind of setbacks and whatnot. So it's going to be wonderful. But I'm, I'm here to have fun, and I just love to compete. That's what I thrive on, competition. So the former gymnast. will draw on those competitive experiences to try and take the 1995 women's individual prize. High content in both skill and presentation for Elaine Alfano. The crowd certainly enjoying it, and the four compulsory exercises excellently and clearly shown to the judges, almost cheekily slowing them down so they could get a full view and the score to beat 161.5 and 99.5 for skill. Now she just needs to have a good score in presentation, and that looks to be enough. 174.5, a clear winner. Elaine Alfano is the 1995 American individual aerobics champion. And what an excellent performance. Patricia Yazinski is the silver medalist and Toby Gifford taking the bronze. Well, with the women's prizes decided, we'll take a quick final event of the 95 National Aerobic Championships from Houston in Texas, the team events. These are the results of the semi-finals, which were held just a week before. In fifth place, Kelly Ryan, Keith Reichhardt and James Oliver from Philadelphia. Impressed the judges with their charm and innovation, but lacked consistency in the skills and overall execution. Brianna Vieira, Jordana Vela and Michael Morton from Northern California managed an impressive fourth place finish despite problems with strength and synchronization. So the three teams left to 
contest the final three medals in this 95 World Championships are there on your screens. Tampa, Chicago and Orange County, California all represented. Kelly Jachbach, Heather High Parker and Vicky Dumas are the first team up. These three really have put on an excellent show so far this year to get to the final round. Well, their bet is that if they win, it's a whole piece of the team. Again, the judges looking for the same compulsories, but also synchronization. The three dancers now taking equal importance. Very happy with that performance, hitting all of their big tricks, execution, very clean. Three excellent athletes who have a good chance with that performance. The skill mark added together to the presentation mark, 91 and 69, gives 160. And the target has been set by Kelly Yachbach, Heather by Parker and Vicky Dumais. Johnny Underwood, Patrick Knowles, recruited John Gary to replace a former team member, but are quick to point out that this is a whole new team, the only all-male team. And these guys really are very quick and electric.
Well, they hit the ending there with perfection. Clean. And that's really what the judges want to see in the team event. Everybody was moving as one. A very complete performance from Underwood, Knowles, and Gary. And there's the target time set by the three women before them. 1.5 is not good enough, but it's the presentation score that takes them into the lead. And the new leaders are the all-male team. And 165 points is the new target for the last team to go up against. Dawn Hill, Carrie Jensen, and Carolee Lesiuk. Well, this team has been one of the highlights of these championships so far with their athleticism, camaraderie, camaraderie I should say, and skill. We all teach aerobics, for one thing, so that's brought us close. We all teach a different type of class. Um, Carrie's more into funk. I teach high, low impact, and Don's real good at step classes. So that, it's the aerobic field that brought us all together, and it's fun to talk about things and go out. Well, it's time to stop talking and time to perform. See if they can get the better of the all-male team now. Just one or two little chinks in the chain missing there. Towards the end, one of the girls hitting the other in the head. And also the synchronization seemed to slip a little as the fatigue and tiredness came in towards the end of their two-minute routine. Well, there's a score to beat. 86, they'll need something very special on presentation. 69 is not enough. 155 by my calculation that gives Dawn Hill, Carrie Jensen and Carolee Lisiuk 155 points and third position. Which means the all-male team have claimed the top prize of 1995. Johnny Underwood, Patrick Knowles and John Gary are the American aerobic team champions for 1995. Second position. Going to the first of the finalists, Kelly Yachbach, Heather High Parker, and Vicky Dumois. And third position to the last trio. That's all we've got time for from the 1995 Aerobic Championships of the United States of America from the Houston University in Texas. I hope you've enjoyed this coverage. There'll be more to come on Eurosport. Until then, it's goodbye for now.